This is an example setup for Aerogen's continuous nebulization tube set for hospital use. Please consult individual manufacturer's instructions for use as setups may vary. Remove the blue syringe cap from the medication filled syringe. Attach the blue syringe end of the tubing onto the syringe. Prime the tubing until the medication reaches the end of the tubing. Visually check that there is no air in the line. Please note that the maximum tubing priming volume is 3.65 milliliters. Ensure proper orientation of the Aerogen Solo as it is gravity fed. Open the plug on the Aerogen Solo. Do not remove the plug. Screw the blue CNTS tubing connector onto the top of the Aerogen Solo. Do not over tighten. Insert the syringe filled with medication into the syringe pump with the numeric value facing outwards. Set the appropriate flow rate and power on the syringe pump. The maximum flow rate for the Aerogen Solo is 12 milliliters per hour. Please note, the recommended syringe pump software setting with the Aerogen syringe is typically the BD Plastipack setting. This must be validated locally before use. Please refer to the pump manual or to the manufacturer for guidance on pump usage. Visually check that there is no air in the syringe, air in the line, medication in the Aerogen Solo. Connect the Aerogen controller cable to the Aerogen Solo and either the Aerogen Pro-X controller or Aerogen USB controller. To start a continuous nebulization cycle, press and hold the blue on-off power button for 3 seconds from the off position to operate the Aerogen Pro-X controller in continuous mode or the Aerogen USB controller in 6 hours mode. Please note, to use the Aerogen Pro-X controller in continuous mode, you will need to be attached to the mains power supply. Visually check that aerosol is being produced and ensure that you repeat all steps when it is time to change the syringe. For further help, please visit us at aerogen.com.